besties. It's Netta from Netta's Nest, Florida Zone 10A, Florida. Central West Florida to be exact. How's everybody doing? How you growing? Well, just wanted to come out here today. It's beautiful, even though I have on long sleeves. I'm hot. It's still nice, but I don't think that um, Zone 10A, Florida, South, um, Central, West, whichever one you want to call it, didn't get the uh, memo that it's November. <laughs> so I was going to cut back my okra. And I was like, okay, I came out here today. Look at all the okra I done found. Look at all that okra right there. And then on top of that, I know it's time for this. A grapefruit was ready to be peeled. Found a little bell pepper and a banana pepper. And I tell you what was even more exciting because I had said that I was not anticipating getting any tomatoes. But look who decides to bloom. And this is one that I grew from seed. I don't know what it is. It's one of my unknown. I don't know if it'll sit on there. But there are, there's one and there's two. And I think there's, there's another one right there. Three. Three balloons on that tomato. Uh, I came over here and cut back my greens. And I'm like, oh, I have, um. And that's another one. Those are stunted. I laid that one down. That one decided to grow. And I found I done found a um I found a worm in my cabbage, of course. But that's my little grapefruit tree. Right there. There's another one back there in the back, as you see. That's where the pepper. I think that pepper just needed some water. And here's that new bed. Y'all see it's loaded with stuff. Oop, got you on blur. It's loaded with stuff. And I moved this whatever it is from over there in the corner put some soil in there and look what it's doing gave me some new leaves also I, when i went to wilson's wilcox furniture on um, wilcox um, nursery and i got me a black brent uh cherokee purple look at that y'all yeah, see it's two of them my lemon didn't make it it was a hole on the bottom of it there's another one over here that i need to prop up and i will all my radishes are coming up. Those are um, daikon radish. I think they're Christmas radish. And this whole time, I didn't know exactly what this was, but I think this was this is bok choy, and it was stunted. So if I can get three of them, that'll be fine. Those are my tomatoes out there, and it looks like I don't know what that is. Well, maybe it's the same thing. This is a green bean. Uh, that one's had it. Oh yeah, and look at all my petunias. I am going to be over the moon when this is full of yellow petunias. They're yellow striped. And that chocolate mint is coming back. Green bean. This leafy vegetable here is doing pretty phenomenal. I, next time I do a harvest, I'm going to include that. Oh, and this is another thing, you guys. Remember, that cherry, um, Barbados cherry was naked. It loves this spot here. And not only was it naked, and it's full of um, green leaves. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Boy. Those peppers all have flowers on them. Flowers. Buds coming. This one's, um, I'm just proud that this one grew some clothes. And that's a little, um, yellow that I got covered up. I'm afraid that he's just, no, no, this, this is a poblano. Look at that. Look at that. But he's not strong enough. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that and I'm going to do this. I need for him to get strong. I don't need, need it to be all wimpy. So these greens are doing well. They're just, every day they're putting on more. It's time for me to um, pick that one okra right there and harvest the seeds. Now the other one, I've already harvested the seeds on it. And all these carrots, look at that. Y'all yeah, see the carrots. That's what I was going to keep y'all updated about the carrots. But y'all see how it's separating? I just threw that leaf there. There's one over there two and green beans and petunias 
I am going to fertilize. You know, I got tomatoes all right here. More strawberries coming up. Blooming over there. Those are looking good. Now that bad over there, uh, I don't know what we're going to do about that, but we will see. This keeps blooming over here. Oh, see? But that's about the sum of it. But the rest of it has died. Um, I just put some more food out there in my compost bin. All my green beans are coming up. All my brass, my, all my green leafy stuff is looking pretty good. And I'm proud to say that this right here is an eggplant. And that's a cherry tomato with cherry tomatoes on it. Uh, I don't remember. If, I think I bought that. I can't be positive. I'm up here just looking to see what else is new that we hadn't talked about. I think that's it. So everybody looks pretty good. And I also want to say my dogs went to Bark Life for a couple days and Nugget only act a little bit sluggish, but they didn't come back and he has a runny nose, but they didn't come back half as sick as they usually do. So that was a win-win. And I also, I moved, my glasses sliding off my face. I moved the stuff that was right here where Nugget's standing at, I moved it right here and already it's looking much better. I don't know if it wasn't getting enough water over here or what was going on. I'm not really sure. That romaine lettuce, the red and the green is looking good. Um, these are more Christmas radishes that are popping up everywhere. All those little plants that I had right there in that little container, I put them in the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They seem like they had pretty much stopped growing. I'm proud to say that the onions are doing good over here. And this is lemon basil and probably cinnamon basil that's all growing. And the carrot bucket is looking good. Oh, I did see. I'm just amazed at the nematode um, garden. So I have, and they said that mustard greens would do fine. But not only did I discover that mustard greens are okay, right there in the center is a um, Tabasco pepper. Move. So I have uh, quite, I planted a lot. Get from over there eating stuff. Those little flowers there. Marigolds are blooming. Um, I really hope this lemon tree does something. I don't know what else to do. It's been here forever. It has only put on about three, three limes. Not a lemon tree, but a lime. And I'm just going to stop it. Go away. Everybody's in here doing good. That pepper is filling in more and more. And that one over there is filling in more and more. And this uh, sweet potato um, container always looks like it's blooming something. Always has beautiful flowers. And I'm always tickled that this blueberry bush. But oh yeah, this something else that's new. This that I thought was gone. Ha ha ha. I fertilized it. Sure did. And I gave it the strong stuff. I gave it the cocaine fertilizer. Sure did. Sure did. <laughs> but one thing that I am learning is that my I'm I'm thinking that my um my homemade fertilizer that's right there in that yellow bucket is powerful. Now what I do is I fill it up. I fill up one of those um, little containers I have running around here that hooks to the sprayer, and it's just one of those hooks to the sprayer. And it's, di and it's diluted as it sprays. But I've been noticing, um, I have been noticing some discoloration. And the only thing I can think of is that I said, okay, I'm not using synthetic fertilizer. So I think my fertilizer coming out of that is still too strong and I need to dilute it again. And it's supposed to be home. It's nothing in there but um, stuff from around the yard. I'm going to say it's 80% Moringa and 20% um, everything else throughout the garden. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. 
Um, but um, things are jumping. Flowers are looking good. I'm ready to, I'm fertilizing again tomorrow. But I have been fertilizing like twice a week because, stop, 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 stop. I was under the impression that if it's natural fertilizer, it wasn't going to burn and you can use it as much as you want to. Uh, I don't find that to be the case. Uh -huh. You live and you learn. All right, guys, just wanted to step in and share that little bit of tidbit with y'all about the things that were growing around the garden. And um, everything's doing well. I was proud to say that I bagged my first bag of greens the other day. Um, I have some tomatoes busting loose. I see green beans. Only thing um, I haven't put out in the garden yet are regular potatoes. Because I really haven't been... I got to go back and look through all my um, videos to see when I was at least halfway successful with potatoes. But my greens are growing fine. But I'm learning that I'm going to pluck my greens all the time because I don't want to be so consumed with so many of them. I want to uh, be able to ba uh, put a bag in a week. Put a bag in the freezer a week. And I think I can do that. But right now, they're not ready. I have one over there. I might eat that Swiss chart tomorrow. One. I got a couple of leaves right there. So it's not ready quite yet for... Um, for harvest but I did look in my cabbage and I found my first worm he was a little bitty something balled up in there I said oh no you won't be get curled up in here and eat my little cabbage from the inside out so I thought I was spraying <laughs> my uh, spin aside I thought it was it was water <laughs> I was like why does this look like this and I smelled that I said I think this is just water I think I had an empty bottle and I put water in it, and I think that's what I was spraying my um, plants with inside the house, because that's where I went and got it from. So I don't have any on spin aside, but I did have just a corner of BT left, and I put BT in there, and I shook it up, and I sprayed my cabbage. Because I really only have four cabbages, and those are the ones that I bought from the store, because all, I probably seeded 100 cabbages. If they're out here, I don't know which ones they are. But the only ones that I do know, it's probably all, they say, oh, put Napa cabbage out. It'll be easy to grow. Let's, let me change my voice. You know how we do it. But yeah, I thought it would grow. But a couple of things I'm really, um, I'm, pin, I'm excited about. Um, eggplant from seed. Um, hoping that my tomatoes will make it through whatever chill we get. And these jade green beans because um miss barbara spoke so highly about the jade green bean and they, they're everywhere this one green stock is basically full of them and they're 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 all over the garden the birds are talking the boys are chilling yeah i was sick this time when we came back from um from tallahassee when they got back from the um, borders we put them in another spot. It was, uh, probably about $70 more expensive. But no, it was more than that because they stayed less days. And then she says, I'm all of child. You know, I'm all of If you get to know me, I, I have the attention span <laughs> of a two-year-old. And um, I don't have ADHD. I just, I'm a butterfly. I'm all over the place. So I'm from one thing to the next. And my husband is like, what were you... Anyways, there I go again. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut all this out. Let me get back to um oh the dogs. The dogs weren't sick. Um I'm glad about the garden. Just wanted to step in here and it's been 15 minutes already. And before I go on a tangent to talk about something that's completely irrelevant to what I even started recording from. Thank you guys for coming into my home. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me into your home. And I'll do my best to stay on task next time. <laughs>